Hello everyone, this is Lars. Welcome back to some more, <coughs> oh sorry, some more Avalon, <laughs> the Black Fortress. Um, I may have worked for you, okay, I think I talked to her. Anything else I can do? Yeah, okay, so she didn't have work for me. Well, okay, let's move on, or let's just level up these guys first. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure about this guy. A little bit more dexterity. Maybe take, maybe take one in intelligence. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, this is not a good, this is not a good uh, specialization. This is not good at all. Yeah, maybe I should just boost this thing. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure now. Yeah, Razor Spray. I want that. Yeah, let's take uh, Battle Thingy. Why not? Three, three, like that. Uh, maybe... Maybe this one. Yeah, or no, wait. Let's take this one and boost this one to level 6. Probably a good idea. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's do that. I don't know what's best, really. So, yeah. Endurance. I don't know if she needs more health, actually. Let's go with one in... Intelligence, she already used that. Um, and I don't know. Okay. Okay, level 6 at this one is pretty good. So... Okay, let's see. Just take level 5 in this, or just boost this a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Boost this one later. Well, it doesn't matter all that much. Let's see, my mouse is a little bit screwed up now. Um, let us see, more intelligence. Why not? Or one in endurance. Yeah, let's boost intelligence and specialization. Yeah, we can use the uh, battle specialization. Probably a good thing. Yep. And let us see. Uh, Level 3 of this. Slow enemies. Yeah, level 3 of this would be very nice. I'm not sure though. Mm. I'm not sure. Level 7, level 6. Icy Lance. Let's take level 6 at this and level 2 here. So we can get uh, level 3 at the next level. Yeah, we're pretty close. Okay, let's do it like that then. That's probably good. Okay, this took a while. <laughs> well, just a couple of minutes though, so not too bad. We can't do this. Um, yeah, I don't know if we can talk to Abby. Great chance to bring peace. Oh yeah, this is this portal, okay? And this one we can't do, so we don't <clears throat> we don't really have much much of a choice. Oh let's see, we can get some free experience here. Oh what? Did we already take it? Okay, whatever, let us go. Yeah, I want this girl. Yeah, I'm not sure who to bring, actually. Yeah, it's a really hard choice. But these two, is uh, they're a good combo. But... Who didn't I bring yet? Well, let's go with these two and take these guys later. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably a thing that's the best setup or something, but... I'm not going to do that. No, wait, no, okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, that was that. 
and just go here, okay? You step out to the Pylon Grotto and into the Grand Garden of Castle Vibox. Since this is a major fortress of the pack, this portal to Avalon has a prominent placement and in a in a particularly lovely area of the fortress, okay? This many centuries old, placed atop a tall uh, natural spire of rock. It has seen many battles, especially during the Black Age, okay? It's uh, never been taken by a foe. And yet, it, uh, it has all of the elegance prized by the Kellen. Yeah, blah blah blah, lovely place for fresh air. Okay. Well then, let's move on. So this is just, are we going to fight there or what? I don't know. These guys probably doesn't have... Nope. They don't have anything useful to say. So... This is kind of weird actually to be... If we're supposed to go here. Like, isn't this a friendly place? Courtier, okay, let's talk to her then. We try to speak with uh, these courtiers, however, they immediately find that they need to be somewhere else. <laughs> okay then. Well, that's not nice, girl. Won't oh, be nice to me. Okay then. So let's just check out the surroundings first, I guess. Like I always do. Probably not any point though. Yeah, don't run away. Yep. Nothing to tell. Uncraft. So I'm just supposed to... And I picked my inventory and stuff and put on some other stuff for my people. So now you know that. Yeah, what are we supposed to do here? Where are we supposed to talk to a king or something? Uh... Meet with Duke, okay. Let's go try find the Duke then. Hmm. Wow, this place is pretty big. And I don't see any switches, so... Yeah, I don't want to open that. That's probably stealing anyway, and probably just some crap. Yeah, I want to save my lockpicks, but... It's really hard to decide when to use them. Okay, here's some cash. Can we take it? Nope. Well, we can take it, but probably not a super good idea. And I checked on the interweb, and uh, Abaddon 3, uh, the final part of the trilogy, is coming in uh, 2016 sometime. And that's cool. Jenna looks uh, out of the Bursa wood. She says, they are lovely. One of the wildest, most unspoiled stretches of forest outside the wild realm. Okay, so pity we are looking to help Kalem Deriel and Holklanda settle it. Okay, well, she doesn't like that they're screwing up the forest. And I agree with her, forests are nice. You can just build in the height. A million meter high house, something. Okay, this place is huge. It's the second beautiful garden to the west of the Great Hall. Lined with lovely fountains, grass is tended to with great attent attentiveness. Uh, vantage point, visitor can look out over the vast barraza woods to the west. A dark, thick forest, nearly untouched by human settlement. Neither Hulklanda nor Kellum Dariel will allow foreign settlers in the woods they consider to be theirs. There's a warrior in her guard standing there and staring out at the woods. It's only blah, blah, blah. Uh, Okay then. That's some more courtiers. Yeah, we can't talk to those guys. So is this a huge place inside? Yes, it is. We can't go into these places. Oh, we can probably get here by um, going into that other stair we found. But we have to find that guy we're going to talk with. Maybe here? No, that's just a courtier. Wow, this is a big hall. Okay. You enter famed Grand Hall of Castle Webbox. 
almost a thousand uh, years, most of the great decrees and negotiation of the Western Colonel took place in this chamber. Okay, the tide work wasn't done quite nice. Let's see what could be only Duke Griffin. Young man, stylishly dressed, and extremely handsome. Okay. Assistant Sun next man consulting him. Rest of the hall is full of said courtiers and envoys orbiting around Griffin like planets around the sun, muttering with the uh, aside to each other and looking for any chance to get a valuable bit of information or scrap of political advantage. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't take very long to make you wish you were back in a nice mine somewhere, hacking at wretches. Yeah, I agree. This is quite boring to talk to just boring people. But he probably needs some help. Yeah, he's very handsome. Look at that. Look at that blonde hair. Yeah. You're from Abaddon. You will speak to whomever you want to whenever you want to. Ignore the uh, envious gazes as you approach to Griffin. As his assistant sighs in irritation and starts to rearrange his schedule with sharp motions of her pen. The Duke of Castle Griffin rises to greet you. He has a blazing smile and a youthful enthusiasm, and he seems genuinely happy to see you. Lars, Hand of Avalon, I am honored to welcome you to Kelem Deriel, and I am glad that Redbeard sees the rare opportunity that lies before us. My other business can wait, this is too important. <coughs> okay, I've come here from Avalon at Redbeard's command. What do you need? I hope you need me to fight. Rises right, from uh, Stair walks to the south to look to the west and see Barasa. Wood spread out below the castle. The couriers suddenly become very quiet, eager to see what will happen. I'm my young duke, but I. He's silent for a time, choosing his words very carefully. He steals himself for what he needs to say. I've decided that I will be a great leader of the Kellen. I will do whatever is needed to keep them strong uh, for far into the future. For that reason, this eternal argument with uh, needs to be settled. We cannot continue as we have done. Yep, with this grudge tormenting both sides. So we want peace. Yeah, we're going to fight, kill people to get peace probably. Yes, an honorable peace. Okay, that doesn't include fighting. And that's why I have invited an envoy of Oklanda here. His name is Monitor Shigas. He's highly esteemed by his people. The Barasa woods are not patrolled by soldiers from either nation, uh, which has enabled them to become a nest of brigands and other pests. Okay. Pacify the region. This is why I need you. Okay. So what must I do? Uh, wait for you just outside my hall to the west. I ask that you will go with him and several Kellum soldiers to the region of the Barasa woods and pacify it. Speak with Shigas, find out what he wishes. Go with him to complete the mission, report to me when you are successful, okay? Uh, okay. I think this is a fool's errand. What threat is in bar we're going to? Yeah, why does Avalon need to be involved? Because Monitor Shigas insisted on it. He's willing to hear me out, but he is mistrustful of the Kellen. He will only go out to kill him soldier if he has hands of Avalon to keep watch, I suppose. Yeah, he seems interested in peace. Yeah, that's out of wicked love. Not at all, not in the least. I invited him here on the pretense of discussing trade issues. He was furious when he learned that I wanted to talk peace. It took many fast words to even get him to consider my ideas. But he's open to the possibility of peace. Okay, so the time to act is now. Yeah, what threat is there? Not sure, something magical. Not brigands, I think. Odd monsters. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a noble goal. I do what I can. He smiles. It's strangely refreshing to meet someone who doesn't think that I am mad. All I ask uh, is that you help as Red Bed intended you to. Shigas is waiting for you. He turned to Natalie and smiled. Also, young sorcerers of uh, the Kellen, I have heard of you. I'm very eager to hear if your skills are as sharp as I have been told. Yeah, Natalie is awesome. Mm. But the words are away. I can spare a bit more time if you need any other information. Okay. 
Why are we trying so hard to make peace? He looks around at the courtiers and have lots of other dukes of Calendaria. They don't seem uh, like they are listening and yet you are sure they don't miss a single word. I'm trying to make peace uh, with nobody, I only with conversation. I'm calming if you will, I don't want to say more at this point. Okay, yeah, whatever, then I bid you good hunting. Uh, so it was north to the west, what? Uh, do their best to avoid you, they're excavating new tunnels in the honor, uh, I heard some other rumors. About what's been happening there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it was northwest. So that's north right. But what? Oh, there he is. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. There's a lone hoglan standing at these ramparts, staring out over the Barassa woods. You see a long standing grudges between Hoglan and Kalem Dariel. You can see why everyone nearby is staying a healthy distance from him. Okay. Where's the insignia of a monitor in the armies of the Pact? This means that, while he might have hundreds of soldiers under his command, he's out of place here in the halls, okay? Turns and faces you, looks grim. Ah, oh, you are Lars, yes? I'm Monitor Shigas. Do you Griffin sent word you were here in uh, this enthusiastic way? I hope you have spoken to him about this fool's errand we are all on. Okay, so that he thinks this is a fool's errand, okay. Told me why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Based on the wrinkles on his face, you would guess that Shigas is close to 40 years old. Yeah, that's easy to see. Okay, well, you can see the wrinkles under his eyes, I guess. His energy is infectious. As long as a hand is present to witness the affair, uh, might have Griffin's idea. Give Griffin's idea a chance. If you don't believe his plans are wise, what are we going to do? We're going to do something that nobody could argue with. We're going to read. Uh, the Barasa woods of one of its infestations of wild creatures. There's a region called the pits. One particular pit seems to be infested with wild creatures. We will be cleaning them out. Removes a scroll from his pouch and hands it to you. This is a map. Leave this castle to the west and follow the road through Barasa woods. The map will lead you to where, to where uh, I and several Kalam soldiers will meet you. Yep. Um, okay. Who will be hunting the beast? You, me, and three stout warriors. Okay. Where should I go? Descend to the Undercroft. Pass through the West Gate and travel west through Barasa Woods. Okay. What sort of monsters? Yeah, that's all for now. So. Uh, Yeah, I'm really not sure where we had to go. We had to go through the, the gate in the west. Mm, okay. Okay, here's a nice place. We're not going to steal anything though. We are not going to do that. Well, let's see, just wait. What? We want to go down these stairs? Where are we? This is east. Okay, I have no idea where we have to go now. Commander's office. Oh, here's some free experience. That's nice. So where do we have to go? Yeah, meals are prepared for everyone. He's very proud of his cuisine. Every land in the pack is able to make good food, but the Kellam have developed a style of cooking of great delicacy and complexity. Uh, okay, are we supposed to go here then? Well, we have to explore anyway, so guess it's fine. 
But now we're going east. Where did we have to go? Does he stand here? Uh, didn't we... We talked to Shigas. Where the heck are we supposed to go? Maybe we have to find one of those uh, exit points. There's no exit points here. Yeah, I have no idea where to go now. No idea at all. And there's no point going downstairs. Uh, undercroft. Okay. Oh! Multiple guards. And of course they have, uh, can be collapsed of the event of a siege. Of course most merchants and other common folk aren't allowed in the main floor. Okay, so this cellar is sort of... This is well, not the main part of the castle, maybe, but this is where everything cool happens. It's full of the reek of animals and fresh meat. You detect wolves and something else. It takes a moment to place it, then you see one. It's a basilisk. Yeah, the beasts of castle were a race and trained here, okay? Used for the hunts of the nobles, not to defend the castle itself. Basilisk is quite unusual. You would not have thought that such mag magical and dangerous creatures could be domesticated. Surely the head trainer will have something interest interesting to say on the topic. Well, yeah, I can talk to these guys later. Let's just go try and do the... Can we talk to it? Nope. Uh, do the quest we have. Yeah, those were big wolves. Okay, we can't go in here. Where the heck are we supposed to go then? Yeah, I have no idea. Through here, maybe. We have to get out somewhere. Yeah, this is the place. Yep. So you step out of castle of a box into the crisp air of the Barasa woods. Few travelers dare to travel through uh, this dark and dangerous forest, which is one of the reasons you have been sent there. It must be tamed. Rough and uneven roads searches to the west. Uh, if you travel to the west, you will reach several farmhouses and the forest itself. Yeah, I know that. So. Just move it, move it, move it. Yep. Yeah, let's just go to the... Finish the main quest thing is. Yep. And... Yeah, you reach the eastern edge of the Barasa Woods. Uncontrolled wilderness. But not untraveled. A road cuts through the woods, uh, okay. A small settlement here. There are farms, a uh, trading post to the north, and what looks like an outpost of hunters to the south. People who make their living off the woods and who aren't scared of the dangerous creatures and people that lurk within. Okay, then. Probably a few side quests there, but. Yeah, I'm in the mood for some. Not side quest. I'm in the mood for something else, like the main quest. Yeah, so let's just check the edges first. Like we always do. Maybe there's some nasty creatures here. Vanilla. Okay then. Yeah, probably some nasty things here. No? Okay, nothing at all. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's one right in front of us. Uh, let's see. Can you go here and uh, shoot? Probably. Yeah, these girls need way more damage. They do not have enough damage at all. Well, Natalie does. 
Janel has uh, good protection because of that uh, thingy she got. The, um, uh, the awesome armor thingy. Yep. Yeah, I'm poison. Poison is really nasty. Let's see. 137. Uh, poison, 131. Okay, that's only 6 damage. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. See, nothing on the ground. Okay. Yeah, Lars can actually use this. It's really crappy though, but we might as well take it with us. Because it's... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I didn't know that, that they could. That's why they have the bow skills, because they can actually use bows. So yeah, so I should boost this one, but I'm boosting this, so it's kind of too late. I boosted the other side with the other dude. I don't remember his name. But it's not really funny to have two melee dudes. Well, the other dude isn't really melee if we use the bow though. Thick trees almost seem to close in on you. Few hunters and settlers are brave enough to walk deep within this forest. Intruders are often killed by Holklandans and vice versa. And there are lots of wildlife, bird songs heavy in the air, and squirrels and other small creatures are common. Yep. Or at ground level, the dirt bears the tracks of many larger predators. Yeah, you were told that hostile creatures thrive in this neglected forest. Yep, the evidence is everywhere. Okay. Yeah, general stops. She sniffs the air. It's sad, it's a beautiful place, but dangerous. War. The absence of human control has let dark things into here. Nature has been corrupted. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot. Nature can be a delicate thing. Defense from the powerful dark forces that roam the world. The task of the shaman is not to warp nature, but uh, to get others to leave it alone. I'm glad to be here. I'm ready to do my work. Okay. Yeah, well, I kind of agree. But are there humans that... that messed up this place then? With some magic stuff? It sounded like that was what she meant. Okay, Death Widow. That sounds nasty. And okay, let's see. Now Lars can use that. That was not very useful. Mm, yep. Just do that. Okay, the Death Widows are actually pretty nasty. Yes, they are. No, don't use that. A sixth corruption. What's corruption? Oh, heavy acid damage. Well, that sounds incredibly nasty. Yeah, that sounds really, really nasty. How's this now? Yeah, that's not especially good. Okay, the acid damage wasn't that bad. Wait, what? Okay, one left, I guess. Yeah, these death widows are pretty nasty. Uh, let's see, yep, Lars can hit him, that's good. Maybe it will not die, okay. Yeah, he resists the corruption, that's good. And you got a kill. We're pretty close to the next level. Yeah, very close. Very, very close. She's one level ahead of us, though. I don't know why that is. They don't get the same amount of experience. I have no idea how it's calculated. If you get more experience for each kill or something. I do not know. There's some pears there. Yeah, let's eat one. Nom 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 nom. That is good. I think you need those stuff on higher difficulty levels. Probably. But this is getting sort of hard enough. It would just take a lot of time to play on higher. Okay, that's some basilisks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go here and shoot. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good damage. Mm, you can go here. 
Yeah, these guys are getting a lot harder now. That wasn't actually the best move of all times. Okay, yeah, I have to use some stuff now. You have to use this. Yes, you do. You can use Spine Shield. That's probably good. Kill this. And... Yeah, I don't want to use that. Maybe just use Ice Storm. Like this. Probably a goodish idea. Yeah, that's nice damage. Yeah, we we kind of have to be able to kill one each turn. Oh, okay, so she has an AoE. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she has an AoE too. And that AoE was really, really awesome. Okay, then that was a lot easier than expected. Actually, yeah, let's take one in dexterity. It's a good thing to boost dexterity too because uh, you get resistance sort of from that. See, we boosted this steel wind. High physical damage. We can't get that level 6 before we have this at level 6. Uh, yeah, I think this is smart. Get this to level 7. Get this to level 4. And yeah. Mm, yeah, let's boost this. A little bit and as usual focus on the bottom ones first because that's a smart idea at least in my head okay let's crap some cash um, battle yeah I should really yeah and I fix my inventory there's a lot of stuff to sell here I should really just uh, spread out the potions and stuff so everyone has a little bit of everything I should do that. And um, here's some enemies. Yeah, Lord's can do no oh, wait what? Oh he had the <laughs> he had the thing on him. Yeah missed, that's not good. And missed again. Okay, he doesn't have all that much damage though. Oh, we got a cleave effect in, yep. I love the cleave effect. And ah, wow, a cleave effect. <laughs> again, that was awesome. Wow, that was... How the heck did I get so much damage suddenly? I have no idea. I do not know. Yeah, they died really fast there. Like that. Oh, there's another one, okay. Yep. Mm, no more. Nope. I hope we get some good stuff here. Cross our fingers. Wand of Lightning. 47 to 175. Yeah. Not a lot of good stuff here. No, it is not. Okay, let's check out in the middle first. There should be something in the middle here. This is a huge area that has nothing. But this is supposed to be a big wood, so... Or large forest, big forest. Okay, let's see. Okay, we haven't been here, but this is the... Yeah, let's go this way. I want to... Do my main quest. Wait a minute. Wasn't the dude supposed to be to the north? I have no idea. We're going to find them anyway. Probably. 
probably. Oh, Lars got a level up. Okay, I forgot about that. Or. Oh. Hmm. We should actually boost the dexterity a little bit. Well, let's boost the strength. And work at this. Yeah. Or this. Yeah, level 3 here. <coughs> here is probably smart. And we can boost. Boost this one after maybe. Yeah, let's not think about that right now. Oh, the wayfarer! Hello again. Full of monster and bandits, you see a lone figure walking down the road. He's wrapped in heavy black cloak. Seems entirely unconcerned by the danger. Gives a little bow. His face is smart, but you recognize his build and voice. Well met, Lars. I'm surprised to see you here. What a merry coincidence. Yep, it's the way for her. Yes, a coincidence. Yeah, of course. He nods, then he takes a step back in. Okay. Wait, are you employing sarcasm on me? Because perhaps you think that I am stalking you. Do not have such high opinion of your own importance, okay? My affairs drag me all over the lineage. Some of my business has brought me here. Okay. Yeah, what business brings you here? I am gratified by your interest. Uh, I am at Castle Bellbox for many reasons. One of them is that there is a merchant who is being treated unjustly. She wishes for someone of influence to speak on her behalf. Okay, go on. Her name is Kalantha. She wishes only to uh, pass she wishes only a path to travel through the castle of the box. She has been unable to marshal sufficient bribes, so she is trapped outside of the gates. Mm -hmm. Okay, what exactly do I need to do? Simply enter the castle, find the gate master, fat bloated craven thick of a man <laughs> that he is. Use your influence, it will be easy. And I think fun. Okay, yeah, it will be done. I'm pleased to hear it, you are wise. Uh, work like this is your reward for being a hand. Take your reward. He knows two steps around and walks down. Okay then, that's fine. Well, this is probably a good place to finish. So that's that, I hope you had fun and I will see you next time.